Yes, we are ready. Uh, we weren't ready, but we're going anyway. <laughs> we're driving the 2021 Acura TLX, and this is a very special episode of Micah Drives. I'm wearing a hat. Coming up, I'm gonna tell you the one feature in here that was ripped out of an Acura NSX that I love the most. But first, information explosion. Let me quick mention that if you'd like to help support the channel, go buy a pair of Flying Eyes sunglasses, assuming you need sunglasses. They're the same ones I wear in the helicopter. Jeepers, look at that cool picture of me wearing sunglasses. Isn't that stylish and functional? <laughs> Kicking things off, interior. What are your thoughts about the interior of the Acura TLX? It really reminds me of being in an Acura NSX. I Whoa, huh? <laughs> come at me with the brags here. <laughs> oh, tell me about all the times you spent so. in supercars. <laughs> it's true though, we did road trip an Acura NSX supercar in that spirit of you don't know things, but you know things. Literally the first thing you said when you got in here was like, oh, it's like the NSX. And I was like, you know what, you're right. <laughs> Ooh, I told you that? You did tell Ooh. me that. A lot of NSX vibes in here. Having driven a lot in the previous generation NSX, the materials feel much nicer. TLX. What did I say? I messed you up with that NSX talk. Dang, but I did spend a lot of time in the previous generation TLX. This is why alphanumerics are hard to work with. And uh, this feels much, much nicer. This open pore wood on our advanced trim is really nice. Um, I think the brown leather is lovely. The contrast stitching. I never like wood in, in an interior usually, but this looks really nice. There is a little black plastic right here and it is covered in dust and fingerprints now that I'm smudging it repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just designate this the Mike Amusio smudge zone. <laughs> it's not what it sounds like. Or is it? <laughs> Get out of here, you iguana. <laughs> I'll also say I like the intuitive controls. I got in here and I was able to adjust the climate control and the seat controls very, very easily. Let's talk about seats. The seats for me are perfection. They're very um, kind of firm and supportive, but then over that firm supportive layer, they add another layer, which oh is gosh. sort of soft and uh, you know pliable. And then these are 16-way power seats in the advanced trim. And so you have adjustable side bolsters and adjustable thigh extensions. You can really dial these things in for your body type. Uh, or at least if you have my exact body type, you can really <laughs> dial it in. Are you feeling you feel good? These yeah. seats are very comfortable. Very comfortable. And then in terms of space, obviously front seat, uh, no problem. I got plenty of space. I can fit behind myself. There's enough space, but there's not an excess amount of space. If your version of luxury involves excessive space, this would not be your choice for luxury. But there's enough space. Let's talk family friendliness. Hey, you've got a family. What do you think? How friendly is this thing? Family friendly. Yeah, you have at least one family that I know of. <laughs> One thing that the TLX has over most of the SUVs we drive, and there are a lot of SUVs these days, is that it's so low, it's extremely easy for our daughter to get in. However, the doors don't open nearly as wide as I would like, so if we were putting a child seat in, perhaps a rear-facing child seat, that might be a little bit of a challenge. Did you have a chance to uh, use the latch points? I do like that you can cover them over completely and then they can be completely exposed. There's a little latch flap and I bet that's not what they call it in the Acura brochure. Do you like the word latch flap? Tell us in the comments. Did you have difficulty getting the seatbelt uh, attached for, for our daughter? No, because I'm good at everything. If you knew her, you'd know that was a joke. <laughs> Such a joke. <laughs> I had a little bit of trouble. Um, I think just because when we had some stuff in the back seat there that was not right next to her, it was a little bit awkward. I had to kind of like shimmy the seat sideways. In terms of cargo space, there's 13.5 cubic feet, which is not a ton of space. You can get a lot more trunk space in an Accord. So if you've got a lot of family gear, then you want to measure your TLX uh, before you go buying it. But one thing I do like is that when you flip down the rear seats and there's um, releases in the back, they have a pretty wide aperture. It's a pretty, pretty big hole through which you can jam, you know, large loads. Come on, come on, beat it, beat it. I have some thoughts about jamming large loads. I'm listening. <laughs> it's, you're going to be very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> how, how am I going to be disappointed? 
when you release them, the seats don't just fall. You have to push them and the trunk is extremely deep. Mm -hmm. So I had to crawl like all the way in there to be able to push them down. I'm just gonna say, uh, why don't you pull yourself up by your bootstraps and just grow longer legs? <laughs> this is my fault. Mm -hmm. Rear window test. Yay! Armrest test. Oh, and this is a good one here. I've got my hands in an eight and four, and both of my elbows are on the rest. They're roughly the same height, and though they look like they'd be firm, there's actually a good amount of indentation. Sometimes there's a little squish, and then it's very hard underneath, but this, it just keeps going. That thing squishes deep. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's two elbows up. While your elbow's up, we should point out how nice this thing opens. Oh, that is very graceful. Look at that just sort of rising up <laughs> like the sun. Hey, have you subscribed to Micah Drives slash flies slash rides this channel? If you haven't, please do. At 100,000 subs, I'm gonna review a windowless white van style. Jeepers, this is a long light. Uh, we made it all the way through the interstitial uh, and we've arrived at style. I like the style of the Acura and it, uh, <laughs> TLX, largely because of the proportions um, versus the previous generation. It's lower, it's longer, and it's wider. And if you want to make that something look sporty, make it lower, longer, and wider. This seems like a very exciting way to drive a family around. I feel like the longer I spend with it, the more I like it. Do you like the look of the new Acura TLX, which I almost called NSX? If so, tell us in the comments. If you'd like to see what I'm driving or flying between YouTube videos, follow me on Instagram. If you're curious what our family is up to, you can follow Evie on Instagram. In motion, it's happening. Ooh. Beginning the in motion segment in a corner is quite apt. The steering is really interesting because when you're roughly on center, it feels like the steering ratio is fairly slow. So when you're driving at high speed, it feels very, very stable. However, and I feel like we almost need a graphic for when I say however, because it's getting more amplified as time goes on. When you turn the wheel beyond a certain point, it feels like that ratio speeds up. Let me just demonstrate by turning. I'm just gonna turn and then see, I get to here, right about here, it speeds Ooh. up quite a bit. Stable, yet agile. <laughs> I suppose it's a little unfortunate that this is something of a sporting sedan and here we are driving through ultimate suburbia, so we can't really push it to the limit, but uh, I do think this is <laughs> probably how people actually drive these things. In terms of ride quality, I think it rides fine, which is uh, kind of a weird thing to say while we're not moving. <laughs> Needless full throttle acceleration. What do you think, sweetie, is this fast? Yeah, my five-year-old thinks it's fast, and it is. The four-cylinder has plenty of zip to it. And now that we're moving, it makes more sense to talk about ride quality and that it feels composed, I guess would be a good word to describe it. This is also the advanced trim, which I keep mentioning, and it has the adaptive dampers. Let's do a zippy turn to the left. Oh, yeah. That's nice. And, this, and it's a bumpy road. Let's see how it deals with the bumps here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Here, let's put it into sport mode. <gasps> Look at that graphic. <laughs> Very sporty. You see how the 10 speed automatic transmission goes down a gear? So we're ready for um, more sporty action, action, action. And then I'm just gonna ease on into that throttle. Let's do a little tip and see what happens. Also, you feel that uh, suspension is tightened up a little bit and easing in. Ooh. Interesting. I was kind of expecting it to be maybe a little bit um, higher revs, like maybe down an extra gear. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna uh, use the manual. Wow, that was a really long delay with that downshift with the manual um, paddle input. Okay, so there's pluses and minuses of the 10 speed. A normal operation, it's pretty smooth. I think it works great. But uh, if you're doing the manual action, uh, you may be disappointed. Oh, and just for funsies, let's put it in uh, comfort mode. Yeah. Yeah, comfort <laughs> mode. Driving with the Museos in comfort mode. Yeah. I put it in comfort mode. <laughs> Are you more comfortable now? No. There's comfort. There's normal. There's sport. Wow, wow, the band of the sport mode. I like sport. You like sport mode because it looks fun and cool. Yeah. 
One last Micah driving thought. Uh, when I use the brake pedal, I wish there was like maybe a tighter connection between what I'm doing with my foot and how hard the vehicle brakes. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm using it in the most pedestrian way possible. The only way I could be more pedestrian is if I were walking. And uh, in a track environment, maybe that would make more sense. But then again, who's taking their TLX to the track? I'm prattling on, let's have Evie drive. Oh boy, we got a sweetie at the wheel. Alert, alert. I can see well out of it. I would agree. There are rear quarter windows that offer good visibility over the shoulder. A little behind the scenes, we are in a massive rush to shoot this video. So, <laughs> we're going to get one full throttle acceleration. When it's clear, go. Full throttle acceleration. Whee! How's that feel? Good. I really like driving something small and low to the ground. It feels reassuring to me for some reason. And I like the way it steers and um, it feels zippy. I think we've got some pretty positive feedback from Evie. She enjoys driving the TLX. I do. Got some pretty bumpy roads. It's managing it nicely. <laughs> Let's get me back in the driver's seat. Good driving, sweetie pie. I think overall the TLX is a fine driving vehicle and uh, I would happily carve my family around in it. Your first family or your second family? My third secret family. Emotion factor. Hey lover, do you think there's an emotion factor for the Acura TLX? Oh, there is a high emotion factor in here. Everything feels so sporty and luxurious. Mm. I really enjoy driving this car. Now temper that take with the fact that she drives a 2008 Honda CRV <laughs> usually. So it's That's easy, true. <laughs> very easy to seem luxurious and sporty, but I don't think you're wrong. There is an emotion factor for me as well. If you're feeling emotionally moved to buy an Acura TLX of your very own, check the Kelly Blue Book listing link in the description below. Remarks. In the beginning, I teased that there is a feature in here that's been ripped out of the Acura NSX, and I love, and that thing, that feature, is the steering wheel. When I drove the NSX, it struck me as being ergonomic perfection for my hands, specifically in the 9 and 3 position. When they told you to drive at 10 and 2, they were wrong. You don't drive up here, you drive here at 9 and 3. At least that's how the sporty drivers drive. And it fits so perfectly, not just because of uh, where your thumbs sit. There's a little bit of stitching on the inside, but it's not too abrasive. But on the back side, this region right here, it's indented and the curvature perfectly matches your hand. It's like the people who designed this had hands. <laughs> you can get all-wheel drive and the Acura TLX for $2,000. The neat thing about the all-wheel drive system is that it's not a mere all-wheel drive system. No, it's a super handling all-wheel drive system. It can send up to 70% of the engine's power to the rear wheels, and then once that's back there, they can divide that power between the left and the right wheels. Think about 100% power to the left wheel, 100% power to the right wheel. And what that allows you to do is overpower the outside rear wheel, which helps turn the car. So you've got all this technology helping rotate the vehicle. And it also gives you traction if you're in a slippery environment, but that enhanced agility, I think, is a really neat reason to get the all-wheel drive system. There's also, and let's see if I can activate it. Are we in comfort mode? Let's be in comfort mode. Will it do it? No. Thank you, car, for uh, you crapping on my ability to make a point. The automatic engine start-stop system works well. I mean, oh. it's it relatively inoffensive. You were probably driving around and didn't even notice that it happened. That is correct. I had no idea. You can also defeat that system if you want. Well, defeat, turn it off. I mean, it's not like the boss battle, but... <laughs> Acura Watch also comes standard. Lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, automatic emergency braking. Let's activate that system and see how it does. I've set the speed for a very reasonable 42 and we're drifting, we're drifting. Oh, it's shaking at me, but it's not. Oh, and now it's steering me back. Okay, so let me get a little far afield but it did make the correction. Generally speaking, I do like the Honda and Acura systems, but I will say uh, 42 miles an hour is faster than the speed limit by two, and I'm getting past like that. <laughs> did you have a chance to mess around with the infotainment system? It seemed like there was a little bit of a learning curve with this one. There is. This is the true touchpad interface. Unlike most touchpads for infotainment systems where it works like a cursor and you kind of swipe it in the direction you want, Upper right is the upper right on the screen. So if you go to the lower right here, it will be the lower right of the screen there. You have a home button and a back button, and then you've got this weird little side scroll thing that uses this separate, uh, operates that separate menu. So if you want to go to Apple CarPlay, 
go to the upper right, and that will be the upper right there. But what's weird is that when you go into Apple CarPlay, it works just like a normal touchpad. So you have to swipe in the direction because it's a much more complicated setup and it's not owned by Acura, ma'am. So going back and forth between those two different swipe philosophies is kind of weird. Nonetheless, having a 10.2 inch screen up there rather than the weird previous TLX two screen setup is better. I just wish I could touch it. That would be so much easier if I could just touch the thing I want to touch. <laughs> a lot of appearances from the iguana today. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly pull in here and we're gonna take a look at the 360 degree camera system. All right, let's experience the magic. Wow. I like that there's a 360 degree camera system. I just wish it was expressed on a larger scale. As long as we're sitting in a parking lot here, let's test out the 17 speaker ELS audio system. And normally I'm quick to turn audio systems off because I do not want to pay uh, confiscatory royalties, but I am a musician. Let's hear a hot jam from Mike Amusio. Pretty powerful bass. It's too loud, says the five-year-old in the back. What do you think? You think it sounds pretty good though? Powerful, good sub bass, crisp highs. I think I need a little bit more mid-range. It's lacking some of that richness and clarity that I want. It's like, um, it's a little sizzly. Sizzly. Let's enjoy the uh, strings. I've had my moment. Oh, and that does remind me that this uh, volume knob, which does exist, is nicely knurled. What song was that, baby? Uh, that was Jet Ranger. Jet Ranger. Was Jet that Ranger. Your song, yeah, that was my, my my song. Yeah. Are we still doing the video? We're still doing the video. Sorry, but we're almost done. There's no better way to wrap up an ELS audio system test than driving down an alley where it appears a woman is vomiting over there. Oh, I was wondering what she was doing. <laughs> I sure know how to pick these alleys. <laughs> Wrapping things up, uh, the competitors team I want to consider, I mean, uh, the Mercedes-Benz C-Class would be one, BMW 3 Series, Audi A4. I think a really compelling choice would be the Genesis G70, which has just been overhauled and I think looks super fantastic. Another one to consider would be the Acura RDX, but it's a compact luxury SUV, it's $700 more, so it's got a little bit more height, probably a little bit more room. Maybe lastly, you should consider the Acura TLX Type S. Have you considered it? I have not. Well, you should. It's coming soon and it'll have 355 horsepower. Ooh. Are you considering it now? Yeah. 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 Not really. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for Sorry. playing along though. I appreciate that. <laughs> Did we miss any remarks? If so, tell us in the comment section. Label them remarks. Get in on the game. Synopsis. Synopsis. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this might be off base, but in synopsizing the Acura TLX, it has a lot of the same vibe as the NSX, certainly less expensive, but definitely more approachable. To me, it's like Christy Brinkley, but now. <laughs> I would not have had a chance in the heyday, but who knows? <laughs> Is she your second family? No, you're your second third family. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to keep track of it all. Do you have a better synopsis? If so, tell us in the comments section. Hey family, the sun is setting on us. Did we have an okay review of the Acura TLX? Okay. Would you like an okay five? Yeah, okay five. <laughs> and you, come get your high five. Mm.